Oh, hello Star Wars fans. My name's Joel Robinson. So for those of you who've been wondering where I've been, for the past two years, I've worked as a TV producer here in Arkansas, which may not sound that exciting, but this definitely will. Last year, before this whole 2020 thing happened, I got to go to Comic Conway, and we had someone interview two people that worked on The Empire Strikes Back. It was amazing, and I know you're gonna love it. In fact, enjoy. We found the one and only Bill Hargraves. I mean, Star Wars icon. You will not find a more iconic piece of this history. So today, right? I mean, your your characters yeah. are in the new Mandalorian movie. Absolutely. So how did you get started or asked to do this? <laughs> Is that a, do we not have enough time yeah. in, the, in the day? <laughs> no, nobody asked me to do it. I just turned up and did it. Wow. Yeah, I just pushed my way in and went, oh, I'll do that. Wow. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So what was your first character you created to Star Wars? Star Wars? The most iconic has got to be IG-88. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, yeah. he's still used to this day. But I did a lot of stuff. I did, I did little bits on Yoda. I, I spent days putting the hairs in Yoda to, to help Stuart out because he was busy. Um, I was very friendly with Norman Reynolds, who's a designer. Right. And his thing was, he used to say all his art directors, just leave him alone. He won't listen to you, so just leave him alone. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to tell an artist, do oh, your thing yeah. and let him do their thing. Yeah, that's it. So on these creations here, did you start out on paper or just saw no. something in your head and just started building it? No, went... just, yeah, I just, it's a, it's a blessing and a, and a problem that I see shapes and things in everything. Yes. And I think, oh, that'd make an arm, that'd make a leg, oh, that'd make a head. Other people go, really? So we just see a pile of junk. And I go, no, it's all good stuff, it's all lovely. And I had a guy where I picked up a lot of this stuff at an aircraft breakers and he went, I'd love to be in your head for a day. I went, oh no, you wouldn't. <laughs> I'd go crazy. <laughs> yeah, you'd go mad. You've got to be a certain person to be in my head. Wow. Yeah. Well, I just have to tell you from the bottom of my heart, and I know everyone watching today, mm. You are a true icon and a piece oh, that's, of, of, of history, and your creations are just amazing. Oh, that's wonderful. That's really wonderful. I mean, you have no idea. As yeah. an artist myself and a craftsman, I just look mm. at your stuff, and all I can remember, I remember the first day I my, I, in 77, I was six years old. I, I'll never yeah. forget how amazing all of this stuff brought. Oh, and then brilliant. Seeing this last week in the new movie, I just I was so happy yeah. just to see your artwork still moving oh, forward it. in the future. If it, um, if it makes people happy, I'm more than happy. And people copy my work, and that's wonderful, because they're all clever people. And they copy it, you think, well, I must have done something right. If they're still copying it, it's got to be good. <laughs> We're here with Kathy Monroe, one of the greatest bounty hunters ever on the Star Wars original trilogy. Yes. Now, you also worked on The Shining. I did, yes. Doctor Who. Yes. Um, well, I worked on The Shining. I just got my equity card. Oh. And I was asked, could I do a line? It was just a quick line with Barry Nelson. So I'm one of the hotel guests leaving the hotel. And he's coming down the corridor towards Jack Nicholson, who's sitting on the sofa. And I just pass with another lady and I say, goodbye, Mr. Allman. And that took two weeks to film. I got film. chills. I got chills. Two, I'm two excited. Weeks because, um, as you probably know, Stanley Kubrick was a perfectionist, you know. And uh, I was on that film and I kept going back and I couldn't believe my luck because I thought I'd be there maybe two days tops. Yeah. So I kept going back and I was a poor student. I was at stage school and it was like wonderful, you know, I just wow. couldn't believe it. Tell yeah. me what it was like being on, well, I mean, Empire. Geez, Empire, yeah, Empire. Just, I mean. Well, um, that again is another strange story. Um, I was at a stage school in London and uh, it was attached to an agency. So they, we used to go to all, all these different auditions. And I went to um, um, Elstree and they never said to me it was a, a sequel to A New Hope. Everything was hush hush. Oh, Nobody knew. Okay. And I just sort of chatted to them and I think I was the right height. They did say to me, are you claustrophobic? Well, I at the time didn't know what that meant. <laughs> but I soon did when the mask came out. 
oh. and uh, it was locked onto my head so I physically couldn't take the mask off oh, so it was it was quite tough to wear but I mean you know got through and I was the only lady bounty hunter so uh, on that scene so you know I had Jeremy and um, Dave Prowse and all of us there and uh, you know lovely Bill was props doing all the props for us right. and uh, it was just amazing it was just an amazing uh, part of my life really um, yeah. and I was only 18 so oh wow yeah it was uh, it was uh, something else so how does it make you feel seeing because Star Wars is yeah. a big part of all the Comic Con. Oh I mean, yes, yes. Comic Con way. I mean, everywhere around the world. How does it make you feel knowing that you were part of that? Very, very proud, and very, very humbled. And I've met the most amazing people. And you know, the stories they tell me. They they come along with the, with, with the figures they've had since childhood, right. and they're like overwhelmed that I'm signing it and they can't believe it because they've had it up in their attic or under their bed or and they, they think oh I'm going to be here so they come with their figures and we sign the posters that they've had for yonks you know Forever. yeah then yeah. I mean Doctor Who is yeah I mean... that was another funny one because on the back of, um, of Empire I was uh, I had my equity card full equity card so I could work at the BBC and uh, that was another one of my first TV jobs Oh. And it was um, so you imagine uh, you're on um, a, a, a huge budget like Empire, right? And then you're at the BBC with no budget <laughs> on Doctor Who at all. All the sets were moving every time we had to run down a corridor, they were going, Don't touch the sides because the whole thing would collapse. I mean, it was that bad, and <laughs> wow. no money, no money in the uh, production, you know. It was, but it was great fun to compare the two, you know. And uh, yeah, I was just lucky. Well, thank you so much for coming and visiting us here in Arkansas, and especially yeah. Conway Comic Con. And yeah. Have a blessed day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, you're Thank such you. A sweet oh. Thank you. So, guys, that's where I've been producing Star Wars content for TV. But now I'm back on YouTube. So, I hope you're ready. If you have any ideas for new content, drop it down in the comments. You may even see a video get made about something that you mention. So, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. And as always, may the Force be with you.